Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here we are again. This week, super exciting. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I had some isopods arrive last week and I've had a couple more. It's a little bit warm in there, but it's the Kibara species Panda King. And these ones are from Bugnet. So what we're going to do today is we're going to set up their enclosure. I've used the care guide from Phil of um, Incredible Inverts and Other Animals. And I've actually bought the exact things mentioned on this video for these supplements. So from Micro Exotics, I've got um, a big bunch of bat guano, which is bat poo. I've got a medium limestone rock and i've bought a bunch of isopod food there's loads of different things there's like pellets there's some like little circular they're like um <clears throat> like biscuits almost but they're like isopod food and then there's like dried fish at the moment for dried fish i've been using this turtle and terrapin mix from king british because it just has all of this great stuff in it and to be fair the isopods have been enjoying it but obviously it's always good to get um food that is intended for isopods and obviously support our small businesses all right so the first thing we're going to start with is the enclosure so i bought a brand new really useful box because they hold humidity really well so the panda king is a really high humidity species they come from the caves in vietnam and this is five litre, five litre clear. And what I've already done is I've already put ventilation holes in the roof. And this was a highly technical process and I'll show you how I did that next. Then we're gonna to wanna to go to the substrate. So I got a big bag because I have loads of species that can use this type of substrate, but it's sedge peat, so it's good for high humidity. So the species does burrow. So in care guys I've seen online, people do offer, you know, a, a good amount, but not like loads and loads. I've just lost, lost a chunk of substrate somewhere, so. I'm sure I'll find that under my shoes at some point. Do one more little scoop. I get my nails so dirty now. So I'm just going to crunch up the big blobs. This is actually really great for um isopods I can imagine it feels like it's gonna hold a lot of humidity but also it's shaped so that's gonna be really useful if we need to put anything into the substrate I really love pro reps um like pre-mixed substrates I just really love them so much I use them for I use the um I think it's called spider life for, like pretty much all my tarantulas. I might put a little more in. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's probably good. I packed down the lower layers and the top is a bit looser, but not super loose. So we've got layers like that. So I'm gonna go and wash my hands. All right, so the next thing we want to do is a big piece of cork bark because we're not that big. Everyone's hiding and such what. Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just stamp on this one. Oh gosh. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Just going to tuck it into the substrate a little bit at the back. And then I do have a big piece of limestone coming, but until then, oh my gosh. Lord. I'm gonna put this cuttlefish thing in there just to offer some 
calcium so right now it looks like this which is not like aesthetic in any singular way <laughs> um but from what i've seen in care guides is like their care is simple as long as you get it right so they're high humidity you need to give them you need to replicate the wild really for this species so there are some isopods like the dairy cows that you can get away with they're quite hardy but with kibara species they are less so so that's why i've ordered the bat guano and the limestone because it replicates what they would have in the wild in the caves one thing i also want to put in is just some moss um because you girl is just constantly worried about humidity so i think this end i'm going to intend to be mm, yeah like the moist end but just also give them like little places to run around and hide and stuff okay so here is our isopod home now i am going to come back to their enclosure when the micro exotics order arrives and we're gonna go back in and just do a bit more with this but until now this should be fine So here are our little isopods and let's get them into their new home. There should be 20. Oh my god, they're so cute! Can you see them? They're adorable. I found a few, so... Oh! It's a little friend! This guy is adorable. One, my good friend. No. Oh. <laughs> Too cute. It's number two. It's number three. <laughs> it's pod number four. He's on there. <laughs> Number six, seven, and eight, nine, and eleven, and twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, no, oh, down. <laughs> They're everywhere down the bottom. They're really exploring. This one looks a little bit stuck, so I'm gonna give him a hand. Hey, girlfriend. <laughs> 20, 21. have a few more for my other colony so there's one there another one another one another one another one another one awesome so i think that makes 26 27 at the moment in the house all i have is this dried fish i have some fish food which the dairy cows like, but they like anything. Uh, but I do have this insect fuel. So in it, there is a lot of um, vitamins and minerals and things like that. I'm gonna sprinkle a little, little bit of this into the moss. I'm gonna see if I can grind, yeah. If I can grind this. There we go. It's raining, no, snowing. That's some calcium just going into the soil. 
going to put a couple of dried fish in just in one place because I can move them when the micro exotics order comes in. So we're going to stop there for now and I'll be back on Monday with the limestone. All right, I'm back. So I've got my order here from micro exotics and I'm just going to tell you what I've ordered. So it did come with a really big sticker, which I'm going to add to my drawers. So I have way more stickers than this, but these are my spares and I like to put them on the drawers. And then there's a little business card and it says, we love life just on a smaller scale. Cute. So I ordered three things. The first thing is made up of four things. So this is the Isopod Gourmet Buffet. And in it, it's got uh, dried fish, it's got these like isopod biscuits, dried shrimp and some isopod pellets. I've actually had this before. Um, I started my dairy cow colony with these and they really enjoyed them. So I've got these with the dairy cows and the armadillidium granulatum in mind um, because they're a little less picky when it comes to food. Um, so this will be perfect for them. So of course this video is about the Panda King, so we're more excited about that. Um, so this I ordered is a limestone rock and it is to imitate the caves that they come from in Vietnam. So it is big, like that's a nice size. And this is the medium one. It's heavy as well, like it's, it's a good rock. Then <laughs> this is my favorite thing that I've ever ordered um, as a supplement for any animal. And it is, um, it's bat guano, which is bat poo, which of course is on the caves in Vietnam gotta be authentic you know okay so since we last met basically i've made no changes to this whatsoever apart from adding a little bit of carrot and this was left over from mara's salad the bearded dragon so let's take those out so this is the source of calcium that i had in there there are a few pods on it and I'm also going to evict these two. The benefit of having long nails is I can just, I can scoop up isopods really safely. So I just want to make sure there's no pods in the immediate vicinity, which there are not. This is a really interesting rock. I don't think I ever thought I'd catch myself saying that. So I guess which way this has a lot of like nice structures for running in and out of so I think I'm gonna put it this way I'm completely new to this bat guano game so I hope it doesn't smell <laughs> I'll be really upset Does that seem like enough? There's quite a lot on the rock and in here and on the moss. I'm gonna put a few of these pellets in just as a variance to their diet. I am just gonna only put like a little handful in to begin with because, you know, I don't know if they're gonna like them or not. And we're done basically. Um, they are all hiding under here and I am just terrified of um, moving this in case I put it back down and I squish them. So I am going to leave them in peace now and put them back on the shelf. So that is it. We are going to keep an eye on the Panda Kings and hopefully they do flourish. I can't wait to see the colony expand. Um, so thank you for watching. I did want to say a massive thank you to everyone that reached out and gave me like really lovely messages about the last video. Um, I'm really bad at like explaining how I feel, um, particularly when it's quite an intense emotion, but I just appreciate the support and also knowing that I'm not alone in my mistakes. Like there was a couple of people that have made similar mistakes and 
you know, it's just nice to know that you're not alone when you do things. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will be back soon.